All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you that with the latest version of DaVinci Resolve Studio, that Blackmagic have fixed a very particular problem that was happening. So just quickly, the problem was with Apple Silicon Max on the particular setups, whereby if you were exporting H.265 using the main 10 profile, but you also had dual pass on and you were doing it in the slow encode mode, what would happen is that your file would export but ultimately it would be corrupted. Anyway, that's what's being fixed with the latest version of the update. So what I'm gonna do here is show you the previous version and what the problem was, and then I will show you the updated version and the fact that it's now fixed the problem. Okay, so the first thing to make a note of is the version of the operating system, which is Sequoia 15.1.1, which is the latest version as of the day that I am doing this video, which is Tuesday day the 3rd of December 2024. Now I just happen to be on a MacBook Pro here which has got an M4 Max sock on it and this is I think the 40 GPU core version. However whatever I do here will be exactly the same on any Apple Silicon Mac. The only differences are going to be that some of them might do it faster than others but the actual thing that I am doing will remain the same across all Apple Silicon Macs. So what I'm going to do here is just launch into DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now, what I'm going to do is just launch into this test project that I've already got on the go. But the first thing to show you is the version of Resolve Studio that I am on, which is version 19.1 build 12. So this is like the previous version, and this one will definitely exhibit the issue at hand. So what I'm going to do here is just come to the timeline and I will show you the clip that I am using, which as we can see here in the inspector is an Apple ProRes 422HQ file. It is 119.88 frames per second, which is basically 120 frames per second in NTSC language. And then as far as resolution is concerned, it is 7680 by 4320, which is 8K UHD. And then as far as the actual project is concerned, the project matches all the source media's kind of attributes. So resolution and frame rate are exactly the same for the project. Now, if I come over to the exporter here, let me just set up some stuff. So I'm gonna go to the desktop because I'm super messy. Um, and then I'm gonna choose H.265 here. Now I'm just gonna call this 19.1, just so that we know exactly you know, which version of Resolve has generated this file. Now as far as the video attributes are concerned for the encoding, I'm gonna be using QuickTime H.265. I'm going to use the hardware accelerator. Now everything to do with resolution and frame rate is matching the project and also the source media. Now coming down here, quality, doesn't matter I'm just going to leave it on automatic this would not have been the issue anyway now I'm going to switch off optimize for speed and then I'm going to switch on multi-pass encode which is basically two-pass encode and I'm going to be using main 10 as the codec variant or the variant of h.265 for the codec now let me just add that to the queue so I'll start that rendering so just quickly the problem that has happened up to this point with this version of Resolve uh, matched up with this version of Mac OS is that whilst this will not crash on this machine or do anything weird as far as the exporting is concerned, the file itself will not play back properly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just speed through this until we get to the point where the file is being encoded. Okay, so as you can see here, that export is complete. So let me just close down Resolve here. Let me just switch that off there. Now, if I just play this file, what we're gonna notice is it'll just stick on one frame. There we go. Well, say one frame. It's like one frame every second or something. But as we can clearly see, that is a corrupted file. Okay, so let me just exit that. Now what I'm going to do here, and I will speed through this, but I will just let you know what I'm doing first of all. I'm just gonna to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to install DaVinci Resolve Studio 19.1.1. So let me speed through all this bit here.
okay so that's now all installed so let me just relaunch resolve like i say i'll do this bit in real time just so you can see what's going on i will relaunch the same project now i'm just going to come up here to about davinci resolve and as we can see here 19.1.1 build 8 so this is definitely the now now the latest version and just quickly although nothing has changed i'll just quickly run through so if we have a look at the inspector everything is identical there in the inspector as far as the project settings are concerned everything is all the same there now if i just come to the exporter which is that button there i'll then select my output as being once again the desktop i'm going to select h265 i will call this 19.1.1 now i'm going to come down here and do the exact same things so it's quick time h.265 using the hardware accelerator it's obviously the same like frame rate and resolution as what the project and the source media are in fact it's remembered everything by the looks of it no it hasn't i'm gonna untick optimize for speed and tick on multi-pass encode okay i'm just gonna pop that over into the render queue and now i'm just going to render that okay so i will speed through this and then let's have a look at this file once it has been completed okay so as we can see that export has been completed so let me just exit resolve here let me just exit that let me just open up this 19.11 let me just pull these marker things down here then i will just start this file and boom look at that it's playing properly yay okay and then let me just scroll through yeah there's absolutely nothing wrong with that other than the auto bit rate it doesn't seem to have selected a good bit rate there however you know that's not something that i'm going to be concerned about because i would normally push up the bit rates for stuff like this but actually what's really interesting with that is that the auto bit rate when i'm doing stuff say at 4k just always does seem to look really good however this auto bit rate at 8k doesn't seem to be guessing the best bit rate for what's going on here once again not within the scope of this video so i'm not going to kick off and start moaning about something else anyway there we go the thing's being fixed how awesome is that thank you very much black magic